Oh, it's a good indicator that they think some of these cases around the country are linked. And we found some pretty good evidence as to why they think some of these Ohio cases are related. Even before the sun was up, it was the dawn of a new day at Princeton after what happened Friday. This Friday was very intense. Landon Brooks says returning is especially tough on the underclass students like his nephew. So he he wasn't exactly excited to come back because he's never been through something like that and he's not old enough in, to know all about that kind of stuff yet. But there are signs of encouragement from the giant one on the front lawn of the school to the handmade signs thanking those who had a part in keeping students safe. Investigators are working to track down whoever's responsible for making the fake calls. There were at least 10 similar fake calls across the state. Now the FBI is investigating after other states got similar calls. We are coordinating with the FBI, both locally and, and across state lines. We've turned over uh, what we have to them, and we'll be working with them moving forward. Uh, this isn't just an isolated thing. We've obtained some of them in Ohio. You can hear the similarities. We'll play three separate calls in three separate incidents, beginning with the one at Princeton. He opened fire on the students. Ten students got injured next to our classroom. At Springfield, and at Belmont in Dayton. Hello, there is an active shooter at Belmont High School. Hello, 10 students got injured. As investigators work to find out who's responsible, students work to get past a hoax where the threat was fake, but the fear was real. Yeah, and today there was also a debrief between first responders, a school district, all the agencies that were involved. They want to look at uh, what worked and where they might improve when it comes to their response and their communication. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News.